The Grunhorn hut on the Tuddy Mountain in Canton Glarus was the Swiss Alpine Club's first hut. It was quite primitive and only offered shelter for five people. Now the hut has been restored to mark the 150th anniversary of the club. The Swiss Alpine Club today has 140,000 members. In the beginning, though, there were only a few dozen prominent men, the elite of the liberal bourgeoisie. In the beginning, the goal of the Swiss Alpine Club was to do research, but also to make the Alps accessible for tourism. Then roads and power plants were built, and at some point, people realised that the club also had to act to protect the Alps. The history of the Swiss Alpine Club reflects changes in Swiss society. It was founded in 1863 by the Zurich geologist Rudolf Theodor Simmler, at a time when mountaineering was coming into vogue. For a long time, it was a club for Swiss patriots and conservative men. For decades, women were not accepted. It was only in 1978 that the club voted in favour of allowing female members. Today, women make up a third of all members, and for the first time, the club now has a female president. One of the biggest challenges today is finding qualified people to do the volunteering work. Dealing with the finances of a regional branch of the club requires a lot of expertise. You almost need a professional to do this work. The same goes for the people in charge of hut restorations. They could almost be architects. As part of the club's anniversary, the less adventurous won't have to go too far to see the inside of a hut. The Swiss Alpine Museum in Bern has a model on display.